Hey guys, welcome to another Parts Factory installation tutorial video. Today, we're going to be working on this Toyota Hilux. We're going to be uh, putting a new door glass in, but at the same time, I'm going to teach the viewer also how to change a window regulator. So we're pretty much doing both the jobs in one video. That way, no matter what you've got to do, I can uh, help you do it DIY all on your own. All right, super duper easy job. I'm thinking maximum 20 minutes. Um, if you've got smashed glass, you're gonna need a vacuum cleaner because you've got to vacuum out all the glass that's gonna be inside the door. Other than that, you're gonna need a flathead screwdriver, a Phillips head screwdriver, and a small rag. Uh, before we get started, I'll explain with the winder handle. If you've got a manual reg, you're gonna to have to pop that winder handle off with a rag. I'll show you how to do it, so don't be too afraid of that. Uh, but other than that, um, if you are chasing car parts like this, we do have a whole selection of car parts available on our website at partsfactoryoz.com.au, so make sure to check that out. Oh, and guys, if you can, give the video a thumbs up to show me, uh, to show me your appreciation for my effort, and that it would be awesome if, uh, yeah, that could be done. <laughs> Alrighty guys, let's get into it. Alrighty guys, so pretty the whole job's pretty straightforward, other than getting this little door handle off. Um, basically, the way it works is there's a little clip in there that's basically like this, like a V, right? And it clips up and it holds that door handle on. All you do with the rag is you kind of put it in and give it, a tw uh, give it a twist because the V gets caught on the rag and of course it will pull on the V and pull it down. So that's what we're doing. Let's give it a shot now. You can literally just bring it in and kind of Move it back and forth till you get it to catch. Sometimes it's better to line it up with your eye. Oh, there you go. You came off, and of course, that pops off like that. Using your flat end, we're going to pull this little insertable clip. We're gonna stick it down next to the door handle. We now have a Phillips head in the door handle here itself. Okay, we're back into it with the appropriate tool. Phillips head out, making sure you don't lose any of your uh, screws. You'll have one in the coin pocket. Bring the whole coin pocket out, again, making sure you don't lose anything. Now you run your hand around the edge. Be careful not to catch any glass on your finger and cut yourself open. And then give it a nice, actually what we'll do is we'll use a flat head. We'll come over to the corner and we'll stab the little flat head without damaging anything in the most hidden space possible. And again, if you've got a smashed glass, you're gonna have glass all over the floor. See how it just pops off like that? Now that it's begun popping off, we pop it all the way up and then take this black trim off. It's just a pull off, place it on the ground. You can now bring the door card out and then up and then there you go you've accessed where your glass and window rig is right it's now time to remove this little door handle uh, i'm just going to have a feeler here i think you bring your flat end down this end and pop it off like that and then it'll slide out of this end or maybe pop out as well yeah now slide yeah see a little slide pin so pop this end slide it out that direction you can leave that to hang this is now the messy part. This black stuff can go everywhere if you don't um, do this properly. But basically, we are going to pull it down, like so. Don't take it all the way off. You can put a bit of hole in it, it's fine, just like that, to get your door handle out, even if you wanna, or even if you wanna actually Put that back there for now that's fine uh, again you can just pull this over the top of this and keep coming right down until you basically have access to here okay guys so this hilux had a smashed door glass and that is all that is left now if you come over here this is our replacement door glass and you will notice there they are right there so that makes sense. Now, this video has also how to show, uh, replace a window regulator. So, if you imagine the door glass was in the door, it would move up and down in conjunction with this window regulator. As you can imagine, 
the, the window would be here, it would slide through this door and it would mount on this mount here and one straight through the hole. Two 10 mil bolts, one and two. To access those bolts, you're putting a 10 mil through the gut, hopefully not dropping on the ground and one here as well. And of course, to access that, you move the window regulator down itself. If your window regulator is stuffed, you won't be able to move it down, which is another issue. If it's electric, the only solution to do that, you won't have that, obviously it can't move up and down, etc, etc, is to undo the window regulator itself. So the door glass is still connected, the window regulator is connected to the door glass, undo the two 10 mils from the door glass, and then undo the window regulator. Now the electric ones mount the same as the manual ones. So essentially, the electric reg will just fall onto the ground like that. There'll be a plug on it, unplug it, regulators out. And that would be the window regulator replacement video, which is, uh, yeah, what some of you might've come here for. Buddy guys, so you're either now moving forward back into replacing your window regulator or you're going to be putting your door glass in so you can skip forward a few minutes because you didn't take your window regulator out. Alright, let's chuck the window re regulator back in, pull it up into this flat position, L should be facing the top, and stab that part of it through the door. Um, let it drop now, that's fine. So, basically, you need to move the window regulator around until you see one of the holes up here. There's one there. You can just stab that through like that. And now that one of, the one of them is in, you can actually rotate the reg until you find the others. So you got one there. Of course, now that two is in, all of them should now line up. And then we can now go ahead and tighten them semi-tight. Now the final one is this little rod, which basically brings the window regulator into a straight position and it clips in here and here. One, two, you can see how it slides into place. Again, you've got your two 10 mils, placing some pressure on the back. Go left first, which lines the threads up. Bring it in and tighten. One, two. Now it's time to go a bit tighter. At this point, we're now ready to drop the glass into the door. Right, it's now time to put your door glass back in. So I'm gonna bring it over the top of the door, like so. Before we do that, we're actually going to clean out the rubber seal of the remaining parts of our old door glass. So you just literally get your screwdriver, you run it around the edges. There's gonna be a lot, but don't afraid to get a bit messy. Right guys, so we've now cleaned out all of the glass with a little screwdriver in this seal. If you don't do that, you might go to shut this, a little bit of glass up the top, presses on this glass wrong, and you're back where you started again. <laughs> All broken again, so you definitely don't want that. You definitely want to clean it out properly. All right, so let's get back into it. We're gonna drop the glass into the door. Dude, did you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> that smash. Yeah. See how I'm putting it in the seals? There's still glass in there. But there's nothing better to push the glass out than glass. I'm just worried about pressing up in the top, forcing it into the glass at the top. That's the glass you gotta worry about. Okay, so let's just do a test. It's shut. Crack. That's getting better. Here we go. So now the window reg, uh, the door glass rather, comes right down, right where your window reg is. Bring your little bar across 
And then of course we'll do this end first, dropping it in past that behind it. Like so, you see how it pops in like that? You got the other end in as well. So at this point, the, the window reg would actually take the glass up and down. But to finish it off, we'll put our 10 mils in, not too tight. One click, just like so. Um, we'll bring our window reg up a bit so I can access that other one, which remember is through this hole here. Oh, there goes your bolt. Um, take it up into the air. You can come in on a bit of an angle, which stops the bolt from falling. Once you've got it in, bring it back down so you can see. Lefty loosey, then righty tight, one click. Handle off. Uh, this handle off there. Bring the plastic up into the air, tuck it through. This is where we reseal. My advice is to reseal. When I was younger, I used to not put this stuff back on and always ask myself, oh, why is it so loud inside the cabin? This is the stuff that keeps it quiet and not smelling like not good. Okay, so this can now slide back into the holes that we pulled it out from. One and two. The clip at the back just clips in there. Maybe it's a push clip. Nah, it doesn't really, because of the bolt here holds it majority of the time. Right, so that's your door glass back in. Um, so as you can imagine, moving forward, it's pretty straightforward. We're just gonna grab your door card itself. Can be tricky sometimes to get these in, but I don't think, not for this car. Um, basically, the objective is to have that part there, these lips hang over the metal, you see? Um, this car is going to be easier than some, I would say, but I'll give it a try. Yeah, so just pushing in, letting it fall. You'll know straight away because these clips around the outside will line up the holes, which I can confirm. At this point, we want to grab our little door handle, um, which has magnetized itself to my drill. We we'll stick it on this door handle like this, basically. Oh, careful not to lose it, because if you lose it, you're gonna have to go to a wrecking yard to get a new one. Putting this in like that, pressing in until it's like that. That's that's the design. You see how the little metal tabs. Anyway, it's a one-way system. You can just bring it up to here and just give it a nice hit, and it actually clips on to the window regulator itself. Let's run a test. You might have a bit of glass, just little, we're talking about tiny little rocks here and eventually they will dislodge and your glass will go up and down easier. As you can imagine guys, the remaining steps are fairly straightforward. We remember our little black part, you just bring it in, give it a nice hit. You got your single clip, smack it in there, press in, Phillips head screw. <coughs> this is your main one that's quite important to get right. Bang it into there, nice and tight. It'll hold your door handle firm. There's glass still flicking out of there. You got your coin pocket. Drop it in without the screw so that you can confirm it's lining up down there before you go drilling for no reason. Yeah, that's it there. So you can see directly through. That way you can use your finger, guide it in. Oh. nice and tight so that the uh, door feels firm itself and yeah that's that's it alrighty guys all done we've just replaced a window regulator and at the same time i showed you how to do a door glass if you've had a door glass smash uh pretty straightforward and actually about 15 minutes so i'm really really happy with that guys again if you are looking for car parts such as this one check out our website we've got a full selection we're in australia we ship it anywhere in australia half the stuff arriving overnight which is absolutely fantastic. Here at Parts Factory, we understand the importance of express shipping time, so that's what we're all about. Guys, guys, if you have enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Really appreciate it if you could do that. My name's Lucas Strabge, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.